Something, something. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Alan. We are back. We are live on a Friday night. I guess the Seattle Kraken. We played them yesterday, and we shut them out. Can Skippy do it again tonight? Is the question. Can Skippy do it again? But here is one of the goals that got us going. Second of the season by number 88, Kyle Cypher. And if you want to see that as well, all you gotta do is, like I said, hit that subscribe button and it should pop up on your screen as we introduce the starting lineup for tonight's matchup. But let's talk about the playoffs for a minute here. Uh, they are, Seattle is 29, 30, and 3. Like I said, we beat them last night. 3 to nothing. Can we do it again? As we are 53, 5, and 3. Who do you think we're going to be playing in the playoffs? Who do you think we're going to be struggling against in the playoffs? Leave it in the comment section below. And the playoff tree is still not out yet. Trade deadline is tomorrow. So, if I want to do any trades tonight, I gotta make it happen tonight. So, but I think we're good on the trades right now. But uh, if we gotta sign any free agents before the playoffs, we might as well do that now. But it's all about Seattle tonight as we introduce the starting lineup for tonight's matchup in Seattle. At center, here's your captain, number 24, Allen. At left wing. Wearing number 11, Jordan Stahl. At the right wing, wearing number 34, Devontae Smith. Halle. At left defense, wearing number 55, Kurt Cypher. At right defense, wearing number 88, Kyle Cypher. Introducing the second line for tonight's matchup between the Kraken. At center, wearing number 25, Tyler Johnson. At left wing, wearing number 20, Pierce Cedric Labrie. At the right wing, wearing number 7, DeMarco Hardy. At left defense, wearing number 10, Mike Angelides. At right defense, wearing number 15, Sony Malone. Introducing a third line for tonight's matchup between Seattle. At center, wearing number 23, Trevor Smith. At left wing, wearing number 17, Alex Kamoan. At right wing, wearing number 29, Eric Nielsen. At left defense, wearing number 11, Jordan Stahl. At right defense, Way number 70, Brandon Kua. Introducing the fourth line for tonight's matchup between Seattle and center. Way number five, Trevor Madden. At left wing, way number two. Trevor Moore. At right wing, wearing number eight, Simmons Nash. And introducing the starting lineup in the net tonight. He got the shot out last night. If you haven't gone to see the episode, go check it out. Number 69, Skippy. That's your starting lineup for tonight's matchup between the Kraken. Almost to the playoffs. Hopefully, you guys do come back to the playoffs. And usual we are gonna be rocking the white uniforms tonight on the road here in Kraken and they are gonna be rocking you know they're just gonna be rocking the same ones that they lost in I feel like we have a better advantage on that Norfolk and Seattle on EA Sports oh, okay. episode 62 
everybody. Hi, everybody. Welcome to EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski, and it's an electric crowd here to cheer on the team back on the ice tonight. Opening face-off. Who is ready for some Friday night hockey? The Kraken have won the opening face-off and take possession here at the start. Moves it to McCann. Is under review. Skippy got lucky on that one. Oh, go! That's what I like about you. And they grab possession of the puck after that center ice face up. Moves it quickly over to Toro. Oh, a huge open ice hit. Cause baby, you saw you wanna pull my windows down and through who's gonna land Put the body on me. Oh, has great foot oh, speed and that's his wheel zone ability. Let's heat seeker zone ability means he's good at shooting those long range wristers on target. Now these are impact players and I'm expecting one of them to leave their mark on this one. He's got a little jump. He's in. Like a NASCAR pit stop. We get a whistle to slow things down. Seattle's performance oh, yeah, has been yeah, very yeah, average yeah, yeah. the midway point of this season, James. They gotta find a way to find their game in the second half if they want a chance at the playoffs. Puck playoffs. And he takes the feed. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Now a quick pass to McCann. I don't play stall. We're gonna play some defense, boy. Allen's got it in the defensive end. Steps inside the line. Make a change. Here he is on the backhand. And a solid save on the play there. He does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner slot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes a save. Here's a centering pass. And he denies that great opportunity there. Gains control of the puck here at the line. Mm. Play is play. The goes up and over. Inching close to the middle of the middle of the middle of the middle the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Takes the ball but still hangs on to the puck. Come off the wall and onto a stick. And it's a quick pass to Jules. drive the net and shoot the puck given that he's one goal away from his next milestone. Seattle's got the puck. Handles the puck. Beneers looks around. Shuts it down. What a stop. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. A things are gonna get easier. The acknowledgement of longevity. The silver stick presented to a thousand games in the Incredible. Well, it's just simply incredible. Well, that's going to be a call, James. That's definitely a penalty. There's the whistle. Let's what? see what the referee saw. Ooh. Smith's getting two for interference here. He's off to the box. What? Also, interference. He's just trying to play the puck, bro. Your dogs are headed to a prime. Penalty kill! One more time. Energy. They just might be able to shut down this power play unit. Seattle's got possession here in the offensive zone. Quick pass. Oh, a save on the play! Oh, that's such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about completing, finding a way to get to the puck. Backtracks with possession. 
smash him back inside the defensive zone. Oh, he caught him! Oh, and that's a thunderous hit along the boards. It's bone-crushing, James. You feel that one right from oh. your all the way up to your shoulders. Talk about finishing a check. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Norfolk's got it in their own zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. And that's a great defensive heads up to force the turnover. Here's a short pass to Everett. Smith, almost ready to get back on the ice. Kyle stick handle in his own zone. Power play is over. Both teams back to even strength. Well, everyone is up. The coach knows exactly what the PK unit had to do, and they got out there. They were responsible. Oh, and they took care of said he wants a second goal. Here in the late goings of the period. Lay me down on the And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. Quick feed to Bjorkstrand. Oh, he'll feel that one. Here's Ryan Johnson. The dogs scoop it up along the boards. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Takes the pass. Pucks to the paint. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out. Oh! And oh! Away oh! The Scooped up along the wall by Smith Kelly. Like he's in the right position. And now, well, do it for the first period. We are all just not at zero. And we're going back to period number two right after this. Seattle zero. What an intense period on Jetco for the dogs. Can they capitalize if they can? In the second period, they had opportunities, but they could not capitalize. But the penalty kill came much clutch with that one. Skippy got lucky on that one. No goal, but you know what? He's doing his part. Can he keep it up in the second period? You gotta find out. Up next. Time of the attack for Seattle, 238. They had puck possession, but dogs had it better. Party in the U.S. said, put my hands up, play my song, the bus lost my way. Neither side giving up much in the opening frame, and here we go, still tied up in a second. Sorry for stepping on your toes, James, but that was a huge hit behind the play. Norfolk's looking to break out. Nice zone entry from the right side. Here's a chance to the middle. Oh! That's stopped. Norfolk's got possession of the puck. And that battle along the wall comes to an end. Takes the puck. Norfolk's trying to make oh! something happen in the defensive zone. Seattle's got the puck in the defensive end. Here's a shot. Great chance and an even better save. Quick pass across to Dunn. Oh, he saved it. What a stop. Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and send a clear message to his team. Over the glass. I thought that was gonna go in, but it was, did not. Curtin just got laid out. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, the game is still scoreless. Saying so. Well. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Moves it to Eberle. The dogs gain possession in their own end. LaBreeze got the puck in his own zone. Johnson's across the line now and on the attack of the offensive end. No! Oh! Oh, a great chance there, James, and an opportunity to get the go-ahead goal, but the pipe gets in the way, and it says, not today. Gains the zone from the right side. Moves it quickly over to LaBreeze. Oh, the net. On the play as the goaltender 
covers things up. Well past the midway mark in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Seattle's got a hold of the puck. Moves it to Schwartz. And it's intercepted and it goes home. And a stiff break set up. Norfolk's got a hold of it against the wall. Looks to set up at the point now. Sends a pass over. And oh, Angelina's wanted it! What incredible up saved by the goaltender. I mean, he gets out in the top of the race. He's challenging. He's saying, hey, try and beat me on this side. Puck possession so critical. Maybe you're fine. you fine. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Yeah. What the hell are you? Pass. What the hell was that, Andrew? This over again. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Takes it at center. He's got a step. Oh, on the play. Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. The Ducks work around near the back end. When you're hounding pucks and applying this type of pressure, it usually results in two things, a penalty or a goal. And look at this, the really ratcheting up the intensity here. Big time collision there. And the goal's going to the right end. And they'll skate it out of the zone. Bumped off the puck. And now we'll do it for an intense second period over. Both teams will get a chance to uh, catch their breath. At the end of two, it is more from zero, next. Seattle zero. your team calendars. You can pick them up at kiosk 144 on the lower level. What a game so far for both teams. Who will be the hero? And will it be the game? Is the question. Dogs defense putting up big numbers for tonight and staying alive. Glad that penalty kill unit was perfection on that first period. Can the dogs hang on? You have to wait and find out. Up next in the third period. Ice cream and cakey kick. Ice cream and cakey kick. That's slip, 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 slip and slide. Slip, slip, slip and slide. Round the board, let's round us up. Round the board, let's round us up. We might start approaching the next goal win sort of department here as we are underway in the third, still scoreless. And down he goes as the puck goes through. Can I get a tripping? Norfolk's gain possession. Across the line from center. With possession along the wall. The Kraken have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Now he slides it up to Ouellette. Norfolk's got a hold of the puck now. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. And he slides it quickly to Kyle. Seattle's gained possession along the boards. McCann's taking it from his own end. Odd man rush. Shot. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. The Dogs take it along the wing. Loves the puck into the offensive zone corner. Takes that pass back at the point. Hammers it on net. Lays out to block the shot. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Takes a shot. Oh, what a glove save there. He read that perfectly. He's got a knack for getting the puck to the net, especially from long range, James. This one's denied, but it's all about the chaos that it creates when it gets net front. The pass in front! Oh, he comes up with a stop! Jumelin's moving the puck through his own zone. Taken along the wall by Yeros. Milano's got it along the wing. Back to the point it goes. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Oh. Oh, he got by Grubauer. And he slides it quickly to Dumoulin. He got all that one. Norfolk's got it in their own zone. 
People and fans complain that low-scoring games are boring, but not this one. There's been a lot of oh! chances on both sides. It's been a very entertaining game. Now into the offensive zone to the right side. The Dogs will play it in their own end. Sends it quickly to Smith. Jocelyn for the puck, and he loses control. Seattle's crossed the line and on the attack. Puts it in deep. Angelinas carries the puck in his own zone. Kalorn's going to play it against the half wall. Takes a shot. Oh, stick save and a butte. This shot's coming from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Big time shot. I missed the net. Well, this has been a tight defensive juggernaut of a game. It hasn't been highly entertaining, has it? I think he knew that he might have had the game on his stick. Tensions were a little tight, and it's a game of inches, and he misses. Moore sliding the puck behind the net. Picked up along the wall by Allen. The Kraken have it in the wrong Whoa! side. Let's get the call. What? Very tough situation here. End of the third period in a penalty call. Whoa. They're going to have to find a way to get to OT. That's some dog water. Your dogs are here to prime penalty kill. One more This could end it right here. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Seattle's got a hold of it along the wall. Here's a chance. And that will do it at regulation. Time. Don't it's go anywhere. In just a matter of moments. At the end of regulation, we are all still non and Zero. Norfolk zero. Seattle zero. Seattle will get a power play opportunity of a lifetime. But can the Dolls get it short-handed goal from it is the question. All these possibilities are endless. But I will say, it has been a terrific game all in all. Dogs hang in there. Third period, uh, overtime. Will someone get a chance to put the game on their stick? Overtime moves. Power play gets back to work here as we are underway in the period they win the draw. Handles the pass. Here's a chance. Oh, what a save to keep it tied. Denies him again. We gotta respect this shot, even though it's coming from Dixon. Oh, Nobody was out in front. Nobody goes out in front. I just love this power play, James. It's not just about skill, but you have to have the work ethic to be able to retrieve the puck as well. You that was our problem. Then your opponent, and they get the PK running around. Absolute mayhem. And then eventually it goes in. Great night of action on the ice, and I can't wait to do it again. I know you can't wait either. So we'll see you next time. And we'll see you then. Final score in overtime. Ball zero. Seattle one. This is an three stars for tonight's match. So first, first star. Fuck. Seattle. Gary Kraken. Seven stars from the North. Seattle. Michelle O'Reilly. And the number one star from Seattle. Philip Bruhern. Those are three stars for tonight's matchup between Seattle. Once again, the final score in Seattle, Norfolk 0. Seattle 1. Overtime lost again. But it is what it is. Like I said, it doesn't really matter because you know what? We already made the playoffs.
So that, that doesn't really matter if we lost in overtime because, like I said, we just got to prepare ourselves for the playoffs and uh, trying to finish the season off strong. But until then, guys, I hope to see you next one, and God bless.